And the National Development Plan places a lot of emphasis on infrastructure development. And that's a great opportunity for our country and a great opportunity for professionals from all walks of life, lawyers, engineers, not just civil engineers, various kinds of engineers. That's a great opportunity. But there's also great risks. As we go into infrastructure development, there's great risks in terms of things not being done according to spec, not being done on time, and sometimes not being done at all. In his budget vote speech earlier this year, Finance Minister Pravin Gordon announced that government will invest a staggering 847 billion rand in infrastructure development over the next three years. He told the joint sitting of parliament that about one trillion rand had already been spent in infrastructure development in the last five years. The massive infrastructure investment is not only meant to develop our cities, towns, townships and rural communities, but it is also aimed at improving the quality of life of South Africans, as we've already noted. Through the construction of roads, railway lines, ports, power stations, hospitals, schools, dams and shelter, the vision, the constitutional vision that promises our people an improved quality of life is going to be realized. It was encouraging for me to note that you as SAICE have a code of ethics. And I noted that among other things, you have undertaken to act with integrity and fairness, to have regard for the public interest and for the interests of all those affected by your professional activities. Three, to maintain and broaden competence and assist others to do so. Four, exercise appropriate skill and judgment. Five, avoid conflict of interest. Six, treat people with dignity. And seven, don't misrepresent your areas of experience and responsibility. It really would be nice if all engineers, even if they're not your members, adhered to this code of conduct. Because some of the stories that we come across in government would not happen if this were true. There is enough money if we all do the right thing and avoid maladministration. It is our duty to play a role to ensure that ours is a state that is accountable, operates with integrity at all times, and is responsive to the needs of all its people. We have already started on the journey. Good luck. <laughs>